Okay, so two years ago, Apple came out with the M1 iPad Pro. I jumped on it. I'd wanted an iPad to use for a while. I bought the keyboard, 300 and something dollar keyboard. I got the second gen Apple Pencil. I got the loaded iPad, 12.9 inch, uh, two terabytes of storage with data. So I dropped around $2,000 on this thing. I was excited about the new OS that was coming out. Hopefully, well, what I was looking forward to, I thought, was going to be a version of Final Cut. Since they released the iPad with the M1 chip, I was like, surely they're going to release some pro apps like Final Cut and Logic at WWDC that year in, in June. Well, it didn't happen. The OS is still limited with what you can do and how you can manage your files. But today, May 9th, it's official. Apple has announced that Final Cut and Logic will be coming to the iPad on the 23rd. So we have a few more weeks to get ready for it, but I just wanted to look over some of the details in the press release and kind of see what was coming. So here we go. Whenever I'm on the plane. Um, I'm going to read the press release. I have no information about this besides just the release that came out today, but it says that Final Cut Pro and Logic Pro are now available for the iPad starting on the 23rd. They've got a few specs. There's not a lot of information here. Some of the details it says with Final Cut will be the ability for the um, touch interface to be used. The Apple Pencil can be used. It's got a new jog wheel for scrubbing through the footage. It says it will work on the iPad M1 or newer. I've got the 12.9 inch, so it'd be great to use this screen. I'm always on the road, on the go somewhere, and I've got a few clips that I just need to pull in, put together, even for a social media edit. And um, it's something that I'm excited. I'll be able to use my iPad, this large screen, to do. One thing I'm curious if they're going to connect the um, Mac app to the iPad app. So will I be able to import footage here and then access it through the cloud or some solution on my uh, MacBook? Or will I be able to do that the other way? Will I be able to take my MacBook and start a project and then be able to pull in like proxy files or something? I don't know, some way to pull that that project file up, that library up on my iPad. Um, they've got a lot of information here about using the camera. I'm just not going to use the iPad camera. Uh, it's just, I'm going to shoot with stuff like this. It's just too big. Um, the pro camera mode brings even greater control for the creation process on iPad. Video creators can shoot high quality video and portrait and landscape orientation, monitor audio and available recording time, manually control settings. That is nice. Uh, creators can capture, edit, and publish from a single device while in the field on the iPad Pro with M2. Okay, so it says specifically iPad Pro with M2, so maybe that some of those functions aren't available on the M1, which mine is that version. Um, you can record in ProRes if you have that M2, I guess. Um, Multicam video editing clips can automatically be synced together and edited together. Uh, switch angles on a multicam clip with just one finger. So I do love the multicam editing in Final Cut. I'm excited that the possibilities. I don't think it's going to replace my my MacBook anytime in the next year or two. But I think the potential for the power that's in this thing. My MacBook is not much bigger than this. So if we could get the interface connected and have the OS connected where they have so many similarities. I think that's the biggest problem I have with the iPad right now is the iPad OS more than the apps. Uh, the file system, the file structure, the accessing the, th the, uh, the apps in the files and how you can manage your files. Um, it's just not practical for pro use. I am in Final Cut all day, every day editing. And so this uh, ability just for social media things if I want to put together a few clips and throw it on social media um, I'm hoping some of my plugins will work I use I use film convert for everything it's got a whole press release I'll put the link in the description below but I just wanted to jump on here real quick and kind of talk about this as it's just announced this morning really excited about what potential um, options we have for this and how it's going to help us integrate the iPad into the workflow I would love the ability to take one of my Final Cut projects that's on my Mac, take that SSD, 
plug it into my iPad and be able to go in and tweak one little thing in the project. Having to pull my MacBook out, sometimes I don't, I don't carry it with me everywhere. I have data on my iPad. I'm able to use it on the go all the time. So just be able to plug my SSD in and go into that project and make a couple of fine adjustments and export that video on the iPad. So we'll see. We've got about two weeks until it comes out and we'll be downloading it as soon as it comes out to see what it actually has to offer. So yeah, Final Cut is official on the iPad. Two weeks.